Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And yet again, we are going to the Journey Down for Journey Down Chapter 2. Now again, this was developed by Sky Goblin, again published by Blitworks, and on its own is available for $15.99 or $31.99 as part of the as part of the trilogy package but again it's on sale for 319 again this week it's bargainicity right there but again watch out for any future future sales if you're watching this in the future future so this is just a direct sequel from the first game only this time we can chill out a hell of a lot more considering there is no goddamn awful speedrun achievement this time and of course as fun as speedruns are they actually suck donkey nuts so this is a more chilled experience that'll take around 40 to 50 minutes to complete now as for achievements, they are just as easy as the first one, but this time it's even easier because there's only two missable achievements and the rest are all story related. So everyone's in, like I said, for a real good time this time round. So, should we get another easy 1k then? I think we shall. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Um, and in terms of controllers, everything's exactly the same as it is from the first game. So, left stick to move your cursor, and when you're moving your cursor, you can press the right trigger to move it faster. Um, you, um, right bumper to go into your inventory, Y to open up your inventory. So, everything that you've done in the first game is exactly the same here. We're still going to skip all cutscenes with B and smash through all dialogue with the A button. Only, there's not going to be as much urgency <laughs> this time around. As there was the first time. So, um, in these next two games, there's uh, Journey Down Chapter 2 and 3. There are a lot, a bit more dialogue, which is why the games are a little bit longer. But, you know, why not? It's only three quid. Unless you're watching in the future and it's actually cost you a lot more than three quid. But, but still, you know, the you know the point by now. Right, so what we're going to do first is go to the right and down. We're going to head in this little sort of engine room. Keto man, what is up? No man, you know, man, you know. Right, so you can just say, later, Keto, don't worry about him. We're going to grab the screwdriver from the toolbox, first of all. And we're going to grab the duct, duct tape, which is right in front of us. Just slap that one up, and then grab the compass. In fact, you're going to use the screwdriver on the compass. Um, or you're just going to interact with the compass. One of the two. Sorry, I forget which. I think you've got to use the screwdriver to whip the compass out. But you should have the screwdriver, the compass, and the duct tape before heading back out to the left. Right. Give the compass to Big Joe. Right there. Lena is with us again. Or Lina. Lima Beans, whatever her name is. So when Joe shuts his trap, get your duct tape out. Use it on the wires on the right, just by the door. And the stairs right there. There we go. That is some first-class engineering, actually. Right, and now we can go and interact with the cabin and head inside. Interact with the button just to the right of you to get out um, old bald head right here. Right, just choose C around. We ain't going to really need to speak to um, Gimbo, his name is. But we can grab the spring that is just underneath uh, the bed on top of him before heading out. Right, and then we can go up the steps. Ooh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Right, let's break. Let's do some breaking and entering. Is it? Use the screwdriver on the glass on the door, on the porthole. It's called. So there we go. Just casual breaking and entering, like we have done this before. Now we can use the spring on the key, and that will get us the key in order for us to basically break in and do what we want in this room. Not creepy at all, right? <laughs> right. Right. Interact with the drawer, and that is going to get us a lost book. It's a navigation book. Which, again, that always comes in handy, especially if you're out at sea. So we can go down, we can give the book to Joe. So make sure to give the lost book to Joe. Hey, look what I... Hey! Well... And... But it's... So, somewhere between those cutscenes, we ended up in prison while we unlocked an achievement. Unlucky for us. Right, when we begin, we're going to kick Keto's bed three times. So, kick it once, twice, three times, and then he falls. And he smashes his head quite, uh... Hey, what, what's a bit of banter and a bit of head banging between friends, huh? Right, grab the ball and chain from the right of Keto. Apparently, there's just a random ball and chain just hanging there. And then what we can do is use that ball and chain and use it on the window 
Time to plan our escape. It's, it, this prison is basically made out of breadsticks, to be honest. And now we can interact with the ball and chain. We're going to do this three times, um, and then the wall just breaks. It's honestly the worst built prison I think I've ever known. There's probably more, though. Probably prisons built of mud and sticks and stuff. So heading to the left, there's a bit of a puzzle that we have to do here, but the first thing we need to do is interact with the lever on this right-hand side. So this is important because we need to grab a skeleton arm when we go back into the cell, and we have to interact with this lever first before grabbing it. So grab the lever, go back in, and now we can grab the skeleton arm, which is to the right of Kito. So grab the boy. While Kito just hangs and all the blood drains to his head and he gets even duller than he probably is. Now we can go back out to the left. Now we have to do this random puzzle. So, grab the skeleton arm and push the lever on it. There we go. Right, so, now what we're going to do, we're going to interact with the very, um, there are four buttons. Three in front of us and one on the right there. So we're going to interact with this right button first. We're going to interact with that just once and then interact with the leftmost button, the first one. So, let's pop that one up. There's that. Right, now we're going to interact with the very, very right button again. And we're going to do that once. And twice. And that's it. And then we're going to interact with the right button. So, the sort of third button, if you want to call it. And then interact with the button again. And then we're going to do that once. And twice. There we go, so we interact with that one twice, and then interact with the middle button. There we go, bam, job done. And that is how we do that puzzle, so it's a nice easy one. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the cart. And we're basically going to get a pickaxe out of that. Again, point and click adventures don't know where they are hiding and sticking all this stuff, but hey, it's impressive. So, now we've got a pickaxe, now we're going to get Keto down, of course. We're not actually going to use the pickaxe on Keto, that would... Be uh, very, uh, that, would, that wouldn't go well for him. Old big onion head right there. But we can now use the pickaxe on the grate right by our feet. And then, bam, that's how we get out of the prison. But okay. I keep. It's pretty dark in here. Ha! <laughs> and pretty slimy. Hey, it's kind of slippery. Oh! <laughs> So after pressing the B button a couple of times there to skip the cutscene, I gotta get out of this prison life, man. And that's what we're gonna do. So head into the dumpster first, full of empty tin cans. So it may seem pointless, but we do actually grab one. So we're gonna head out to the left into the sort of main street, and there's gonna be a bit of a conversation, a bit of dialogue here with, I believe her name is Andy. Dr Oop. I. That's more. So after that's done then, of course, we would have grabbed the matches automatically. And now what we can do is get your pickaxe out and use it on the newspaper rack. Just to the side of you right there. And of course, we're going to interact with it then in order to grab a newspaper. I mean, if you haven't got any coins, just smashing your way through life is pretty much another way to do it. Um, I don't advise it in real life though. So when you grab a newspaper, head all the way to the left, into the sort of cinema area, and then go up. So to the up, there we go. And we are basically in sort of the dockyard. So now we're going to head right, and we're going to see two sort of homeless, big homeless chin boys. So we need to ask for some clothes, uh, but they want some fire. Well, I think we can get that for them, can't we? I think we're nice enough. So, you don't need to speak to him, you don't have to speak to him, we we literally just need to do the thing. So we can just say, gotta go! And then when we do that, we're going to grab the newspaper, pop that in the barrel, and then we're going to do the same with the matches. So use the matches and pop that in the barrel. Bam, and oh! Look at that, nice bit of warmth for him, mate. Oh, shim! Right, basically, and then what we can do is uh, speak to either one, Mo, 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 and then just say about those clothes, 
we get an achievement and then we can uh, grab some clothes. I mean, we might we could have just stripped naked as well. That would have been a good thing. But the police are going to... If you've got a seven head, the size of that head, the police are probably going to know it's, it's you, whether you change clothes or not. But, hey, what do, what do I know? Right, and then the last thing what we need to do then is grab the nachos. There's a bunch of crisps just by them. So grab the nachos, literally just by them. Um, I actually missed these nachos first time around, uh, but it doesn't matter if you do, we can always come back here. Um, always worth saving frequently, by the way. So let's head to the lighthouse then, the top right, ha top left hand corner, head to the lighthouse and then head inside. But I always say, just in case you end up missing something or make a mistake somewhere, save frequently and oftenly. I uh, don't think it makes a difference, but I'll just say repairs for what. Not sure if it makes too much of a difference, so you can just again spam through every bit of dialogue. Right, grab the bolt cutters just to the left on the floor of um, skinny, miserable man. I forget his name, to be honest. Mia Cat is his name or something. So grab those bolt cutters right there. And then what we can do is grab the model ship on the top right hand corner. He's going to give that to us as well. Cheers, uh, eyebrow head. Tiny boy. In a, he was out. What happened? To Nothing. Let mo it. You can have it. it and finally, then, what we can do is get the empty tin can that we grabbed from the dumpster earlier, what? use it on the teapot for whatever the hell is in there. Uh, again, they all come in incredible handy. So, from this point, we can just head to the right, and again, always double tap the A button here to go immediately to the next screen rather than walk, because. Bro, we ain't got no time for walking, waiting and walking. Ain't got no time for it, man. So eventually we're going to get here, and then we're going to go to the bottom right, back into the uh, cinema area. And then what we're actually going to do is mess around with the wire box, just uh, close to the exit there. But we're going to grab the pickaxe, and we're going to smash the wire box, box open. A, a casual bit of vandalism, never hurt anyone, did it? Right, now what we can do is use the bolt cutters at this time, because you ain't doing that with your hands. And that sort of dims it down ever so slightly. And then we can just go ahead and go to the right now. Right from here, what we can do is head um, to the phone booth. We're going to get a, uh, the first missable achievement, actually. So type in this number, 6340000. So that's 6340000. And then you need to make a specific dialogue option. So don't go nuts with the dialogue. Choose the third option there. Hello, pig face. And then that is what's going to get us the missable achievement because he's going to be human. So when that achievement unlocks, dial in the same number six three four zero zero zero. And there we go. And then what we can do is just spam the dialogue because it'll be the top dialogue option that we need, which is something about management. This is management speaking, which of course you just go, yeah, sure, why the hell not? <laughs> so from here then, what we're going to do is go to the left. We are by Arnie's bar, um, and we are actually going to go inside Arnie's bar. Um, I did have a look at the dumpster, but there's actually nothing um, in order to get the dumpster. There's nothing there just yet. So, let's go inside Arnie's bar. And bunch of dialogue problems again. Cry, cry, cry. What's up? Hey! Good- Hi. Ha! So, when the dialogue options appear, we'll just say, see you guys later. We literally don't need anything from Minecraft Head and Thanos Head right there. But we're going to grab the Almanac just to the left of us. Well, kind of looks like a calendar, so make sure to grab that almanac, and that is in your inventory. Then we can give the tin can to Gimbo. Of course, we managed to get the tin can full of that captain's broth, or whatever the hell that is. It's his spunk, blood, sweat, and tears. But now Gimbo's going to drink it. Now what he does is give us the book in return, so now we should have the navigation book, and then we can head back out, and back out to this sort of main area. Go to the left... And then what we're going to do then is go to the sort of conductor in the doorway right there. So not up on the left, but up on the right. We're going to speak to Robot Head and South Park Hands right there. And then basically what we need to do is say, I want to repair the lamp, or I'm here to repair the lamp. So I'm here to repair the lamp, and then basically what he does is he just gives us the lamp. Because again, that's exactly what you do in it. Just uh, 
just believe a random stranger that wants to fix something. Tidy. So right, what we're going to do is now head back to the uh, the lighthouse. So all the way to the left, nip back in there. And we're going to nip back inside the house as well. Of course. And then this time what we're going to do is head up the stairs. Bang, tidy, look. Stuff's going well now. Interact, grab your lantern and interact it in the middle. Beautiful, that is beautiful. But now we're going to head back downstairs for now. And that gets us the let there be light achievement. And the guy's eyebrow raises a bit further. Right, now give Morton, that was his name, the um, not lost navigation book. And that gets us another achievement. Ye O Faithful is spinning again. Right. So from here then, the lighthouse, as we can see now, is spinning beautifully. That's all good. Take no many perhaps. And now what we're going to do then is go all the way to the right. We're basically going back to Arnie's bar. So, um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The lighthouse. Yes, tis a lighthouse. We fixed it even though we don't know what we're doing. So head to the right there. Head back to the left. Also to, to the app even. Back into Arnie's bar. And a bit of dialogue is going to happen. And then what we're going to try and do is go into the sort of food shaft. Or the food, I forget what it's called. The food thing behind the bar. And then that's basically going to get us kicked out. We get an achievement, but we end up um, with our head bashed in almost. Well, that's settled. Buana, what are you doing? <laughs> you no, good. And Buana. Yeah? Thank That balog. So then that's dumpster diving done at the way. We got thrown out from Club Timber Timber. Now we're going to go back inside Orny's bar. I don't know, Arnie's is just such an American bar, isn't it? Fat phonies beer, McFerrin. Hilarious. Right, so a bit of dialogue options, blah blah blah, all good here. What we're gonna do is actually pick up the uh, empty bottle from the right hand side. Uh, just just to where our legs are right there. So pick up the bottle, make sure we got that one. And then we can just head out. No reason for us to stay, although you can give me free drink if you want, because it's a hard life. Speak to Andy Bandy right here now, man. Uh. Oh, man, she invited us in so from, for some coffee. Let's go take a look. Oh, she's just a receptionist. Okay, so as it turned out, it's not a house, um, it's just is uh, it's just the mayor's office. Right, okay. Although she is trying to get fired, so we can just piss about and do whatever we want, which is always handy. So the first thing I'm going to do is give Andy Swa the um, almanac, the calendar, whatever the hell you want to call it. So Andy's all like, my god man, I need to go there. Sorry again, the accents are generally disgustingly terrible, I'm very sorry. Anyway, interact with the terminal. And then what we need to do is actually spell the word expedition. So that's E X P I C U P <laughs> No E X P E D I T I O N and then press enter. Everyone knows where the enter button is, right? Red. Right, so we got a whole bunch of stuff, bit of dialogue, and then we can just uh, clackle on. That is prob wow. I So we need to go and find the McSandwich guy, so what we're going to do is head out back to the left. We're going to go into the phone booth again. Man, we walk so slow, it must be his eight heads keeping him down, to be honest. And then what we're going to do is choose this number. Five, one, zero, eight... Four, two. And there we go, so that'll phone up uh, Mr. McChicken Sandwich. Hello. Hello, madam. I'm trying. Is this. Yes. Sweet. I'm calling. It's a. Uh, yeah. If my. So I. D did. Equal. Uh, uh, this. Oh. So I. Job done, mate. Job done. Right, let's go to the left after we have done that, and now we can go. Up, sort of up the main part right here. Now what we're going to do is grab the rubber boat. 
It, it looks like a funny face on that boat. Anyway, let's grab the rubber boat and uh, yeah, it all comes in handy. Don't you panic your butt snatchers about it. We're all good. Go to the right and go to the right again, sort of into the mayor's office street. And there's a random posh-ass car parked there. So interact with said car. And now what we're going to use is the uh, rubber boat. The rubber dinghy boat, whatever it is. We're going to use that on the car. He's going to pop that just underneath it. And then we can go back into the mayor's office where Andiswa is. Um, use the matches on the alarm in the sort of top left-hand corner of this little room. Because it, it, <laughs> we're a dangerous breed. Our eight-headed eight -headed headedness. We're a dangerous breed we are. And there's a box of cigars that we can grab. So you can grab them if you want. Um, I grab them a bit later on, just to the left of us. Um, but for now, we're just going to grab the fire extinguisher and head out. Again, you can grab those cigars now or later if you want. Doesn't make a difference. Uh, but we're going to use the fire extinguisher on the rubber boat. What that's going to do is, unbelievably, we're just going to steal a wheel off the car. No tools. We're just going to literally grab it, stick it in our pocket, or stick it... <laughs> Obviously, somewhere where the sun's not shining. And then just head to the left, where the red sort of arrow is there. And we're going to speak to... I don't know, he kind of reminds me of a Raoul, for some reason. Kind of just looks like a Raoul. No idea why. Uh, but anyway, we need to give him... Oh, okay, Raoul Reynolds. Uh, we'll just say, do you see, uh, see you around? We don't need to speak to him. But we will give him the tyre. So give the tire to Reynolds, and then that is an achievement done, and <laughs> we are on our way, boy. I I nope, ha, that's a Nick. So. Well, now, man, what a fun looking place. All right, grab the bolt cutters and use them on the gate in front of us. Um, we're going to have to amputate you. Ah, that's a funny, that was a good one. That's a good one. All right, go in. Inside this sort of factory look in darkness right here and then interact with the power box Luckily, there's nothing too complicated. So four knobs the top left one do it in a six o'clock position the top right one do it in a nine o'clock position the uh, Bottom left one do it in a three o'clock and then a sort of ten o'clock position for the f last knob and then interact with the button So that's what your knobs should look like if you've got a small knob, then don't worry about it. But if you've got a large knob like me, then you'll have no issues sailing through life. I'm still talking about those knobs on there, mine. Small, large knobs. Yeah. Anyway, interact with the key box when that is all good to grab a couple of keys. Go back out to the right until we're in back in this sort of uh, area where we started. Use the keys on the truck. And that gets rid of this car. Now, well, hilariously, what we need to do is go back inside. And just interact with the control panel for an unskippable cutscene, but this one's actually always kind of funny. Right, when this cutscene ends, do not press the A button again, because if you accidentally hit the control panel, you'll go through that scene again without the car, and you can't skip it, so it's a bit annoying for a couple of seconds. Anyway, interact with the hand wheel. That is to get the molten in right here, the molten lava or whatever it is. And now we can interact with the control panel. And then what that's going to get us is this big bugger off metal bar. Nice. Head for the exit, top right hand corner. And as you can see, we're right at the top left hand corner of the screen now. Again, press all B button to skip all cutscenes and everything. And we finally get away over. Right. Henyo. Here, man, get out of me shit now. Right, we are actually coming up to a second missable achievement. We just got to go through all the dialogue anyway, so don't worry about that. But to get the second and only missable achievement of this game, when we're here, interact with the bookshelf. And we're going to interact with that twice to get the achievement called the success of... Or succeed in the power of business 101. Right, beautiful. Right, for the next part then, all we got to do, you see all these 12 drawers on the right? We've got to interact with every single one of them. So, just interact with every single drawer, all 12, just once. Job is done. We Here's a you mean yeah a pet and it, it guess hey. that's in the yard and but that's more and that oh. 
the arm the it's me here at where here but this me cut I don't we Nope This Hey Yeah check this out Whoa! It's a safe Juana, do you know how to pick a lock? Yeah. <laughs> so with all the drawers smashed right. open, the what we're going to do is choose this basically a normal keypad. So one to nine, all, you know, the drill. We're going to choose four, five, seven, one. So the left, the middle left, the bottom left, and the top left. Four, five, seven, one. Uh, it's just like a normal keypad, like I said, anyway. So that's all good. Now we can just press the B button, and here we are back in. Back in our lovely, cozy mayor's office. Um, Your piece of whatever we're at. You but Come on, Buona. Let's get out of here before the police show. Looks like I bet it's... Where? Ah. No, the vault. And... Nah, dude. Come. It's the back. You think we... I'm not... So our new lady friend's gonna try and break in the back of Barney's. Now, uh, excuse the poor edit right here. I said I forgot those nachos earlier. So what we need to do is actually grab the nachos and feed it to the pigeon. So there's gonna be no difference. Obviously, you still have to feed the, na the, the pigeon the nacho, which gets rid of the plumber. Uh, the, 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 uh, 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 what's this bloody called? The plunger. The bloody plumber. So the plunger. So... Again, remember the nachos, if you didn't grab them earlier, they're by Mo, they're by the two homeless people by the lighthouse. So, when we grab the plunger, go inside Arnie's and use the plunger on the drain. Now, we need to leave it there, I accidentally pick it back up. So, don't pick it up, we need to use the plunger on the drain. Mm, what the hell's coming out of there? Now, we need to use the bottle, the empty bottle that we had earlier on. Use that as well on the drain. Make sure to pick up the plunger as well. So, you should have the plunger back and the empty bottle with now, like... Piss water in it for some reason. So it's basically just like drinking Strongbow then, yes. Right, go to the left when we head out of here. Now we go into the up once more. Go to the lighthouse again. And of course, head inside. Make yourself at home, bruh. Because why the hell not, eh? Right, uh, from here we're going to um, speak to... No, we're going to use the bottled water that we got and use it on the teapot. We're not going to speak to Morton. So we know we've basically got one full bottle of basic... It is just Strongbow. We've just got one piss water broth. Sounds blimishimo. Right. Head to the right where Mo and Vince, the homeless guys, are. And this is where we needed the cigars earlier. So uh, we can just say i got to go right here. Don't worry speaking to them. Give them the bottle of <coughs> quote-unquote booze. And like I said, now we have to go and grab these cigars. I'm not actually sure if you could have grabbed those earlier or if they were only available now. So that's what we're going to do. Go back to the mayor's office then and grab them. Of course, if you grab the cigars earlier, you can now give them to Mo and Vince. Again, if not, it makes some difference. It's taking like 30 seconds out of our life. So back into the mayor's office. There's the box of cigars right to the right of you. Go ahead, man. Yeah, thanks. No, I'm trying to get fired anyway. Cheers, Andy boy. Girl, I'm sorry. Right now we're gonna head. <laughs> now we're gonna head back to Mosif and Vincent Eus. Now we can give them the cigars and everybody are happy. What you got? Wow, that's good. How's it doing? So now we can just say, "I gotta go, man." But now we can interact with the crate just to the right of where the nachos were. But um, we apparently we gotta honor the deal. So we've got our corn. Beautiful. That's where you get the corn from. That crate. So now we can head back to the right, and now what we're going to do is interact with the cinema on our left. Basically, we need two movie tickets, which we're going to grab from... Wow, he's got a long head. That guy's got a long head. <laughs> right. Interact the corn, but use the corn with the popcorn machine. Of course, that's how it usually works, right? Yes, it does. That's how popcorn's made. Like, two corns boned each other, and then they made a little popcorn. And then they multiplied by a million, thanks to rabbits. Uh, you don't actually have to eat the popcorn, but we do have to grab the two movie tickets. And now we can head back to the right. And then head to the right again. Go to the left. We're going basically back to Arnie's bar. 
Hey Arnie. Ah, oh, my knee. Ah, oh, knee. Anyway, we're gonna use the two uh, cinema tickets. Use them with the sad sailor, who's <laughs> the only t the only person he's going with is Pam and his five friends. And well, you'll get that joke. You should get that joke. Anyway, he gives us a videotape, rather dirty and disgusting. But it does give us the R in the rating is for romantic. Steamy tape, right. Hmm. I know what kind of romance that is. That's butt bag 3000s, oh yeah. So anyway, we can now exit, go back into the mayor's area. We are going to inter... Uh, go sorry, we're going to go to the left. Keep mixing up my words there. So go to the left. Now we are going to go to the up... And we're going to go all the way back to the lighthouse again. Now, what we're going to need to be doing soon is the lighthouse. We need it to be pointing basically to the right, so east. Um, in order for the light to light up the crane, in order for us to get up and save Kito. But we'll come to that in just a second. What we're going to do first is go up uh, into the lighthouse main area. Have a look at the radio on the right next to the lantern. Now, what we need to do is use the upper button... It's kind of hard to tell, but it's on 96.9 at the minute. Uh, so, uh, actually, interact with the button on the left first. Now we need it to go up to 99.4. So, 994 is what we need to do. And as soon as it's on 99.4, interact with the middle button, so the third button across, and we're going to get a little cutscene. And, yeah, it's only, it's only a little one. But basically, if you accidentally take the record off, that's fine. Just press that same button again. I accidentally do it here. Uh, but just press that same third button again to put it back on. And a little bit more conversation will happen, and then we can skedaddle. I've got to go away. What are you waiting for? I've got to go away. I'm an old man. So anyway, let's go to the left. And now let's go to the down. The journey down. Yeah, get it? That's the name of the game. And now we can go back to the right. We're not going to be doing the puzzle with the lighting up the crane just yet. But we're going to go into the big sort of building in the middle here. Uh, which is, I don't know, I think it's the airport or something. It looks like an airport. Head through up to uh, through the doors to get to the elevator here. And what we're going to do is interact with the junk pile on the left. Oh, that's handy in a junk pile. That's what normally happens. Right, go back to the up and then go to the left again. And from here, what we can do is go back to the lighthouse. A lot of back and forth now. Yes, interact with the lighthouse. Of course, to go in again. And now we're going to go back. <laughs> we're going to go back up. Right, with the oil can, use it on the reel. Makes it real good. Down, 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 down. Right, and now we use the model ship and use that on the pulley to the right of you. That's a good one. And then interact with the reel itself for golly gun whales. Hilarious. And now what we can do is head back down for a short cutscene. With sky sails on the... I mustn't let her out of my sights. And now we're going to do the, com uh, the um, puzzle. So interact with the doohickey. Now what you need to do is basically get it where it says east. You need it to be on around two, the two dots after east. So there, that is where we need it. So as soon as it gets to the first dot after uh, after we get to east, press the lever now, and then it should be on the second one. Now this is what you should see. You should see the light lighting up the crane. So you, if that is what you saw was the light lighting up the crane, then we should be good to go. If the light isn't lighting up the crane, like so, as it is at the minute, um, then you'll just have to go and do the puzzle again. Um, you'll know if you've done it right, because... As we come here, we're going to go uh, into this main area again. We're going to go down. We can see Kito having a little bit of a ishi, a bit of a tishy ishi right there. Uh, we can just say again, gotta go. We don't. Re we're not really interested, pal. Sorry. But now we're going to interact with the elevator. Now, when he says going up, what he will say here, as long as you've done it correctly, he will say, "A little light plane come to Papa." If you haven't done it correctly, he'll say something like, It's too dark here, man. And, yeah, so it's basically too dark. So what you'll have to do is go back to the lighthouse and do it exactly where i done it. Sort of two dots after east. And then you should be all good to go. But anyway, again, assuming you've done it right, you should get the achievement there. And we can now move on back to the right. And we are going back to the, sort of the up 
if you want to call it that. And now we're going into the newly found place at the back. Nice breaking in, man. Yo, man, you got a, you're a legend now. You're no man, you're no thing now. See? I'm just, I'm super fantastic at accents. Right, there we go. Thank you. My name is Buana Banana. I am careful. Don't you worry, pal. So about five minutes left of the game now. What we need to do is interact with the keypad on the door and then choose 851 as the um, key code options there. So 851, you can always tell by the dirty, sticky finger marks. Delicious. Now go inside and uh, you got Will Smith. Angry looking Will Smith. Uh, just about ready to slap some Chris Rock, he looks like he's going to do. Uh, grab your tape anyway and use it with the video, <laughs> the video storage. And what you need to do is just... Basically, just keep clicking it. Uh, I think it does it automatically anyway, but he's going to get to a point where he says, Yep, yeah, it's all good. Then we can leave. Uh, hey, I guess that... He's and if we've done that, I think we have. We'll leave uh, Will Smith looking at his Oscars uh, nomination and his slap on Chris Rock. We'll leave him alone. But we're going to use the plunger on the window. In fact, yes, we are. Sorry, we're going to use the plunger on the window. And now we can actually head out. Little cutscene right there. Now just keep spamming the A button on all types of the wall in order to get through. A lot of crappy built walls in this game. I've noticed. But when we are in, interact with the Journey Down book. So is that what the Journey Down is? They've literally just been after a book this whole time. It seems a lot of work for one book. No book's ever that good, is it? I'm pretty positive about that. So we got the Mission Implausible Achievement. Then when we skip the cutscene here, we're going to basically end up on a deserted island. Nope, not a desert island, which... Well, god damn, that would just be fantastic, wouldn't it? But we should get two achievements there anyway. We're going to end up on this desert island. Not an ice cream island, not the desert island. Shame. Anyway, when we... Uh, I mean, there's nicer places to get... <laughs> not that many nicer places to get stuck, is it? So, interact with the tent anyway. He found a machete! Now we can interact with the up. And you can speak to Keto if you want, but what we're going to do is just use the sword... On the jungle and then just press the A button a couple of times there to slice your way through like an absolute badass now we can go up from where we just were or where we just got rid of the jungles right little tiny pillar puzzle right here so the very left one there's four there four pillars there so what we need to do is just interact with a couple of so the first one we need to interact with once uh, twice sorry the second one we're going to leave alone. The third one we're going to interact with three times. So it should look like a bunch of lines. And then the last pillar we should interact with once. And that should be it. So it's two, zero, three, one, basically. If you want to um, do that in an order. Right, now we've got one more small tiny puzzle to do. So interact with the runes. Um, have a look at the moon. In, and click the moon once, twice. And that should be good until it's on the left-hand side. Now interact with the swirl until... And interact with that twice until it's at the top. And then interact with the star until it is at the... Um, sort of top right there. So twice, twice, and once. That is what it should look like. And then we can back out. Interact with the button on the left. Oh, man, it's a lot of pushing. Not a lot of rewarding work. Although we have ended up in a hell of a jungle. Anyway, um, we're going to get this rune right here, which we can now interact with. So we can click on that and then in interact with the idol. Billy Idol, I'm going to call him. No, I'm not. And then we can just head back down. Almost done. Head back down. Head back down. Goodbye, my keto. Goodbye, my friend. Right, now we can grab the idol and put it in the gate. So you can see, obviously, the where the hole is. So again, if you want to put it in dry, or if you want to put some uh, water on there, whatever, it needs to go inside anyway. And with that, that is pretty much the end of the game. So, that's the Journey Down Chapter 2 complete. Now we have the third and final one, which will take around an hour to do. So it's a little bit longer again, but it's not too bad. But there we go then, guys and gals. That's the Journey Chapter 2 done. Thank you so, so much for watching again, guys and gals. Hope you fully enjoyed the, gui uh, the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well. Again, if you did, don't forget to cost a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Big shout out to everyone on my Patreon supporters. Thank you so, so much. 
and for everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. That's it for number two then. Let's see you for the third and final chapter in the journey down. Until then, big love.